Yo, what's up guys, Andrew here. Welcome back to a very long awaited video. Haven't uploaded in more than like three months. It's been a while, was on vacation um, during the summer and then school started, um, but we're back with a new video. Although I didn't make any videos, you already know we still cooked. Uh, so here's a little recap of everything I've gotten um, throughout these past months from the end of May to uh, present time, which is September 12th, 2021. So yeah, here's that little recap. So yeah, that was a little recap. Very crazy that I was able to manage to get all those pairs, all manual, of course. Uh, shout out to sneakers. They blessed me a lot throughout the summer. Um, thousand dollars in profit, which is insane. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get into it. Uh, we have a couple unboxings. Some of the crazy shoes I've gotten throughout the summer. Uh, we're gonna unbox those and also a little live cup at the end. Um, so yeah. All right, so first we have a pretty cool unboxing of the Off-White Dunks The 50. A very interesting release done by Nike. Uh, they gave it exclusive access to some sneakers accounts. Th three out of my four accounts hit the access. Um, but unfortunately, I forgot to check the third account and I missed it. I, I didn't redeem it in time. But the other two, we did redeem it in time, luckily. So yeah, here was, the, here was the unboxing of the two pairs that we got. All right, so here are the boxes. As you can see, they have the Nike tape. Um, so yeah, we're gonna open these two boxes, the off-white dunks, of course. We're gonna put one to the side, open up this one. We have our handy dandy golf um, cutter, I guess, box cutter. So we'll put it here. Very excited to see these pairs. I didn't open them because, um, you know, wanted to be a surprise. I was recording as well. I literally just came back from school. Shout out to FedEx and my neighbors for not stealing these packages while I was gone. I had to run um, home so no one can steal these. Here is the off-white box. Put this box to the side. Give it more detail. Look at the box. Kind of like that cardboard box with like black tape. Has the signature off-white like logos and like the Nike swoosh logo. Like is it, like if it was like made like with a, a sharpie or something this is a size 10.5 so this is one of my 10.5s and this is the lot number eight as you can see it has like the little check mark um so yeah I, 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 i've seen the lot eight like on photos and it's not very nice so oh well um but yeah here yeah, here's the off-white packaging i didn't forgot to mention this but like the like the cutters like as if they were like a cheese grate or something the window windows i guess as i mentioned the off-white um wrapping paper and yeah here is the lot eight pair very weird looking <laughs> with the uh, neon hiking laces like a burgundy style um zip tie of course, uh, the lots one to 10, uh, and I believe some other ones were like a, a leather with a canvas material. So this is it. This is, here's the leather right here and has like this canvas material in the toe box and also in like uh, the middle part of the shoe. Uh, gray leather swoosh, an orange tag, the off-white tag. And here is like the plate for the like lot. So this is lot number 08 out of 50 right here. Like I mentioned, these neon hiking laces, just regular white laces. Let's see if they come with an extra pair of laces. Uh, they do not. This is the, the right pair. Also, the off-white text and the laces, shoe laces. Very cool. Here is the second pair. Also, the same type of box. This is lot number five, as you can see right there. course this like the black tape and everything like that the cardboard style we're gonna open up right here law five i actually did see these i had like somewhat an idea of what colors i got because there's like a leak if you click the picture of the of the shoe order uh you can see the style code and that's how you were able to see what lot you got so i kind of did know a little bit before um but i did not didn't know how they look in person i guess and these are a lot better than the lot eight <laughs> in my opinion man these are so nice these are a size 12 i'm i was ho i'm looking mad i should have got a 10.5 in this colorway instead because those were uh, these are size 12 that's a 10.5 my size is 10.5 so if they were 10.5 i would have kept to be honest um the yellow zip tie blue hiking laces 
Uh, there's like a pinkish uh, lot number plate. Also, the the text, off-white text, these are from Be Beaverton, Oregon, 1985, Nike Dunk, um, off-white, the Nike logo in black, orange um, tab, a yellow, um, what's called, tongue, and also with uh, a hole. And I forgot to mention, I get, I also think that the insoles were different colors. So yeah, this is a yellow insole, and the other one is a burgundy insole, I believe. Um, so yeah, let's look at the left, the right pair. Here we go. Very nice with the off-white laces. Pretty cool shoes. Here is the lot five and lot um, eight. Pretty cool. I wish I would have got the lot one or 50. Those would have been sick because they resell for a lot too. But these are still pretty cool in my opinion. The lot five way better than this. Um, but these are all right too. Some pretty good profit on the on both of these. So yeah, those were the off-white dungs. Very interesting designs. I really like the hiking laces, the insoles, the little touches, very cool. And of course that box, pretty cool. Uh, we did end up selling those two pairs, one on Discord to a browser member and the other one on Elias. Pretty good sales on there. And now let's go back to a little throwback back in July. Uh, we did end up securing the off-white Air Force Ones lemonades, the ICAs. Uh, we, we did the spoofing, all that to be able to purchase it. So yeah, now here's the unboxing when they arrived. And next we have a very exciting shoe that we did end up securing. And that was the Nike Off-White ICA um, Air Force. Uh, we did get this off of the stash on Nike sneakers. I did use a spoofer, shout out to iTools. Um, we ended up using that type of software to get it. And here it is. I wish I, I filmed a live call for this or like I screen recorded my phone because this was actually insane that we actually got this. My most profitable shoe that I've ever gotten from the start of me reselling um, last year. Super crazy shoe. And here you go. Very nice. Detailing, all the details are on point. Leather is actually very nice. You have um, the Nike text or the off-white text, Oregon, USA. The air right here in text. And this like, kind of looks like an aluminum um, swoosh or like a space type of thing, off-white tag, and also this type of tag, all yellow. Very, very crazy shoe. So yeah, those were the Air Force Ones, the off-whites. Very crazy shoe, very bright yellow. Uh, we ended up selling those shoes for about 2.2K on Elias, which now thinking about it was a kind of dumb decision because they've gone up $400 since then. Um, but it was all good because I was able to use that money to invest into more shoes, um, which kind of balanced itself out. All right, now let's get into the final part of the video, which was a live cop. The most recent one was the undefeated dunks, the black pair. Uh, we did get the brown pair a while ago. I think it was in like June or like the end of May. We got the brown pair. Somehow didn't get the blue pair. Lots of difficulty with the uh, website. And now the black pair, we did we end up securing. Uh, almost didn't because of the website. It didn't let me log in. Um, but yeah, let's get into the live hop. Okay, well, I actually did not know that answer, but I'm surprised I got it. Bruh. Alright, alright, I think I think we can check out now. Let's see if this works. And there we go. But yeah, that was the Undefeated Live Cop. Very frustrating release. 
no one was able to check out the first like 10 to 15 minutes because the, web the website wasn't letting people sign into their accounts and also check out. Uh, but we did, we did end up securing our pair at the end of the day, I guess, our 10.5. That's pretty much at the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. For those who stay tuned to the end, I have a little showcase of my recent um, pickups of shoes. Uh, lots of fours. The most recent ones are uh, the Shimers, the Jordan 4 Shimers. Very reminiscent of the Jordan Off-White, um, the, like, the tan or like beige ones, which pretty nice shoe. I like it. Very good hold. Um, another Jordan 4 is the Lightnings. Very, very nice. Uh, the leather was kind of disappointing in hand. I thought it would have been better. The UNC 4s were a lot better in my opinion than these. Um, there's like some like scuffing and like I guess like the leather isn't good on some pairs. Mine's are right. Isn't the best, but it also isn't the worst. Has little scratches right here. Um, but yeah, here's the Jordan 4 lining. Very nice shoe. Um, another one is the Sakai's, uh, the, the Fragment collab. Uh, I, got, I did get the blue pair on sneakers. Very nice shoe. Um, the classic, I guess. It even says it right here, the classic. <laughs> Very nice shoe. I wish I got 10.5 because I really like this shoe for myself. I need to get the 10.5 gray one that's going to release on sneakers very soon. Um, another recent pair was the, the Starfishes, the Jordan 1 Lowe's. Uh, these did release after like the, the Nutra Grays uh, Lowe's, which were very nice. The leather is extremely good on the, women, on the women's pairs. Very, very nice leather. Um, and also an another Jordan 4, uh, the Oreos. These have gone up so much. This is a GS pair and it's going like for almost the same as the men's pairs or a little bit less, but like around that 300 mark. Um, some pairs. So yeah, these are going to go to the moon or they already are basically. Um, and then a Yeezy, a recent Yeezy was the Yeezy Slides. This is the suit colorway. Uh, we did end up winning some raffles. We did, we, we got two pairs. This is one from CVD, I believe. Um, and the other one from Seven Store should be arriving very soon. So yeah, those are some re recent pickups um, that we've gotten. Very crazy that we've gotten all these shoes recently. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for a new video in like a, about a week or two. Um, a very different video from my normal videos of like live pops and unboxings. Stay tuned. And yeah, laters. Boop, boop. Fubu got that flame.